Now that you've had the chance to watch the basic customization of an invoice template as well as the additional customization of the invoice template, we're going to get into the real fun, which is doing the layout designer. Okay, so you click on, once you're in your customization, you click on layout designer down here and you see it's kind of similar to a grid edit. So the boxes can be, you know, you can drag them around. You can change the fonts on the different boxes, and um, you can customize this to be exactly how you want it to look. So, first things first, I'm going to just drag these over here to start so they get out of my way and start moving from the top left down. Notice how QuickBooks does give you on your template the little window. So if you're using envelopes to mail your invoices, these are going to be the windows open up top for your company information as well as the information um, on who the invoice is being mailed to. So I'm going to drag these down first and get my logo looking great. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and drag it over so that it shows up up in that top corner a little bit. All right, and then you're going to take, I'm going to take my company and move it up and under there. I'm going to make this size a little smaller. I don't need that extra box. Not that it matters. I could make it all the way, go all the way across the, the page here as long as I've got that left justification on here. So I can click on the box, I can right click and go to properties, or I can go up here to properties. And these are properties that are similar, are similar to what you see in Word or in Excel. It's got your justification, left, right, center. Uh, if you want to indent the first line of text, so you can keep that, give it a little indent there. If you want to justify it vertically to the towards the top, bottom, or towards the center. And then if you want a certain color in your font, you can click on font here. I'm going to say I don't want it underlined anymore. I had it underlined from a different video. I do want it to be bold. All right. And instead of black, I'm going to go ahead and choose a blue to match my little TV setup there. Okay. Then you also have the choice to have borders if you want to on the top, bottom, left, and right. Do you want rounded corners on your borders? Do you want any pattern with your border and a certain color? As well, you have an option to fill in the background if you choose. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK on this. I've customized it as much as I want. So now it has my company. I'm going to move the address up underneath here and make the box a little bit smaller. Okay, so I think that that looks pretty good. Notice how I can move the box all the way up as close as I want to have it up there. But I think that that's looking all right there. Now if I scroll down, if you saw in the different video, I put my phone number down here. I added that in my basic customization, the phone number, but I don't really want it to say phone number because I think people understand that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this box, but the phone number still stays. So I'm going to move this up and I'm going to put it up here under my address, but I want it to be in the same format as my address. So what I can do is I click on the box, I say copy format, and then it gives me a little paintbrush and I click on the box that I want to be changed to the same format as the first, you know, where my address is. So I'm going to click on that and notice it picks out that same format. Make sure you go here to say end format because then if I start clicking all of these, it's going to change their formats too. So I say end format and then it gives me my phone number in the same format as this, okay? I might have to go in and make it left justified though. Now we've got it all looking correct. Okay, now you have the bill to information. You might not want to say bill to. You might want to say um, customer. So you can change the labels on these fields or you can change, you know, you can change it to whatever fits your business, okay? I don't need it to be indented. I don't want a border. And I want it to be black is fine and no background color, okay? So now it says customer. Actually, now I look at that. I want it to be a little bit larger. So I want it to be a size 12, okay? And then you have your customer bill to information that comes from the invoice. Make sure I want it to fit in that window there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and make sure to, that the text is as large as I need it. I think I'm going to copy the format from this and paste it down there. Okay, and end the format there. All right, so then of course you can move these around if you want your date and your work order number to be separated out. Maybe you want to go ahead and make this box the same height and width. So if you push on the box and you push the shift key, shift and you select the other boxes and you can click this and say I want them to be all the same size. So when I click that, notice they all change to the size of the original box. Okay, this is also the only place in QuickBooks that they have the undo button. So if you didn't like what you just changed, you can always click undo and then it moves them back the way they were. But I'm going to switch that size up. Okay, so I want the invoice date under here, the sample work order number, and then if there was anything additional I, that I had as a header, maybe the terms I want up under here too. Okay, so if I wanted to, I'm going to again click on this, click the shift key, click on these two boxes, click size, oops, oh, let's see, undo here. There we go. So I'm going to move them up under the terms area. Okay, thank goodness for the undo key. <laughs> and the PO number is kind of just sitting out here, so maybe I want to do that up here as well. So I shift, I click on these shift, click on my way, the size I want, click size, and it moves it all down to that same size so I can stick it up under here. All right. So now uh, you can scroll down and see what are the columns that I want? What are, how do I want them to look? Do I want them to be a little bit wider? Quantity is not a big column. Maybe I want that to be narrower so that I have more room for the description. Price is hopefully a pretty big category, but not too, too large. You know, I want to make those smaller. Then I have plenty of room for this description. Maybe you don't want it to have, you know, your invoices aren't that long, so you can drag the bottom of this box this is sample text, that's not what I'm looking to drag. I'm looking to drag this up because I really don't need that much on my invoice. And then I can have a, a area down here for that long disclaimer that we talked about. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of these extra boxes down here. I'm gonna arrange my subtotal so that it shows up the way I like it. My sales tax, don't forget the boxes that actually have the information in them and move my total up as well. All right, total. There we go. And then there's also the choice to add additional fields, okay? So if you want to add a text box, you can add a text box for free text. You can add a data field. If I click on a data field, I can add my tax ID number to here. I can add the balance due from the customer as a whole. I can go down. There's all these additional this additional information that you can add to this invoice template. Okay. But for now, I guess I chose that. So essentially, when I do trainings of people, I usually show them just this. And then I say, have fun, <laughs> because it is, it is a lot of fun. You get to design your invoice to look the way that you want it to look. You don't have to use just a standard out-of-the-box invoice. And uh, you can customize it as your business grows, too.